the kind of problems we do in this video will be let's say here the bottom 5% parts are to be thrown out what's the cutoff in weights so anything belongs here will be thrown out what should be the weight or the top 20% of the class will get an A that means 20% will get an A what's the score here that will determine the 20% so what is our strategy well, the strategy basically is to find the z-score given the areas and then use this relationship here to figure out what it is. How do we get the z-score? So here it is. We are going to go by the table that we have. So this is the area given in this table. So all these numbers are from the mean to this point here. At the point on this side here, same thing, z is negative. So are this area is 40%. What's the z score? But now the body of the thing, remember, this is the areas. That's the areas. These are the z scores here. So here look for 0.40. You may not find an exact match. Find the closest match. And that will come out to be right here, 0 0.3997. This is too far below. This is too far up. That's the closest one. So the z score will be 1.28. Mean is 60, standard deviation is 12. What's the cutoff for top 10%? Well, here's our picture. 60.10, top 10%, right here. What's this point? What's this point here? Well, this point we know from a normal distribution discussion is mean plus how many sigmas from the mean we are times sigma. So that will be 60 plus z times 12. Okay, how do you find z? As we discussed earlier, if this is 0.10, this will be 0 0.40. If you look in the table for 0 0.40, you will get an area of 1.28. We discussed again earlier, a few minutes ago. And you can go back and rewind and see, make sure that you get these ones. 1.28 so this simply now becomes 60 plus 1.28 times 12 which is 75.36 so this point is 75.36 right there so the cutoff point for top 10 percent is 75.36 grams pounds meters whatever that is that's the cutoff if the mean is 60 and sigma is 12. Okay. What about suppose you want to do the bottom 3%? A bottom 3% means this is 0.47. Remember, we have to find the area from the mean to the point. So it's 0.47. If you look in the table for 0.47, you'll get 1.8 at z-score. Again, remember, we are below the mean. So it's negative. So 60 minus the z-score times 12 is 37.44. And we are done. Now we go to Excel and see how Excel is used in solving normal distribution problems. So let's go there now. Okay. So four functions. Norm S dist, norm dist, norm S inverse, INV, and norm inverse. When you see this little s in there, that basically means a standard, standard normal. That basically means the mean is 0 and sigma is 1. That's all there is. So what's the area of z-score is 2.14? Okay, that will be equal to norm dot dist dot s dot dist and z is 2.14, 2.14 and always 1. Okay, now once again, 2.14 is positive. That means it's going to be on this side of the mean, right side of the mean. So the area that Excel is going to give you will be from there all the way on this side. All on this side, left. If you want to write, it will be 1 minus, that area will be this area here. So this simply will be 0.9838. Okay, next. What's the probability of 58 or more if mu is 50 and sigma is 6? Okay. 
So, 50 or more, 58 or more. 58 is going to be on this side here because main is 50. 58 is here. Excel is going to give you area from there all the way back that way. You're going to do 1 minus to get 58 or more, which is what we're looking for, right? So it will be equal to first the formula n o r m dot d i s t, okay? X is 58, mean is 50, sigma is 6, and a 1, always, or true. That area is 58 or less. We want 58 or more, so we're going to make it here 1 minus and 0.0912 that's 0.0912 and this will be 1 minus that number norm dot s dot inverse what's the z square the area to the left of the mean is 0 0.15 now this is tricky don't jump think first draw a picture left of the mean that means that's the mean here left of the mean is 0 0.15 that means somewhere out here this is 0.15 from there to this 0.15 we need to put an area in this function okay so let me put the formula here equal to n o r m dot s dot i n v probability what do i put probability that's the tricky part here so from here till this point is 0.15, right? 0.15. Now, Excel's always, everything is always measured from here. So if we give Excel 0.15, it's gonna make 0.15 here. And then this becomes 0.35. 50 minus 15 is 35. But we're looking for 0.15 from here onward, 0.15. So what will this point be from there, there? 0.35. So we're going to put here 0.35 and minus 0.3853. So Excel always gives you uh, areas from this side here and uh, it's negative, the z score is negative because we are on left of the mean. If I was right, it would be positive, left of the mean. If mu is 50 and sigma is 6, What's the cutoff point for top 17%? Another tricky one here. So function is norm dot inverse equal to n o r m dot i n v. And probability is what? Now top 17%, that's 0.17. This point onward is 0.17, right? But Excel computes everything from here. So if this is 0.17, what's this? This will be 1 minus 0.17, that is 0.83. So we're going to give here now 0.83. And the mean is 50 and sigma is 6. And there we are, 55.72. So 55.72 and more is top 17%. And that's all there is. So once again, you need to really keep an eye on using function is very easy, but giving the right information, the function is harder part. And that's the mistake I have seen people make left and right because they don't understand what they're doing it. They know the function, but do not know how the whole thing works out. So draw a picture and then go from there. And this is the end of this video and of normal distribution discussion at least for now.